I wonder if Spaceman is here. He's been quiet today. Probably fell asleep. That is a distinct possibility. <laughs> so, uh, Spaceman. He's, he's my brother. He probably in the fell chat. Asleep. Yeah. Um. So, hello, Shadow here with Breath of the Wild. Sorry, Luna here. <laughs> As I'm like gulping down water, I'm like, I'm so thirsty. Uh, oh he said he's only saying that because he hasn't played it yet. Um, I won't spoil story stuff for you if, if you do stick around. Right now, so this playthrough, I am just hunting down all the shrines and uh, memories. But I'm not going to do the memories because that's purely story and I'm saving that for the end. And I know I can play this without doing any spoilers for you. Because right now, like I was saying, um, I'm hunting down all the shrines and I'm at uh, 54 out of 120. So her brother, uh, Spaceman, um, he really enjoys this game and I like playing it for him too. He's what, 12 years old now? 13. He'll be 13 this year. No, 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 he'll be 14 this year. He's getting so old. I know, he's 13. Oh, don't drop it, don't drop it. Oh. He was born in 2005. I honestly didn't know I could do that for this puzzle. The way I did this puzzle before was I literally walked across this rope. Just a little younger than Doki. Is she still watching? I noticed that you've been uh, commenting for her. I don't know if her computer died again. Moonlight Scimitar. Uh, get rid of this crap. So these guys in front of me want to eat my face. I don't know if this will kill me if I do it like this. Oh no, that's nice. There. Um, electricity and magnets and all that stuff. There's so... Oh, crap. <laughs> Get off. She's napping that rough school life, you know. Where you get days off in the middle of the week. She has to be up at 8.30 to point... 8.30? That is so late to wake up. Tell that big baby to get up. Electricity in this game is uh, very dangerous. It can kill you very quickly. That's why puzzles like these can be tricky. If per chance you do leave K True so you don't get any spoilers. Um we we stream at the same time, give or take every day, six to ten PM. And I believe you are in Mississippi I saw. We're in Ohio, so we're we're Eastern Standard Time. You should give Gregory a call to wake him up since, you know, oh. he's all about the Zelda life. Well, if he's sleeping, that's a school night. Eh, he cares more about Zelda. <laughs> you know him. The whole reason I started Twitch was for him, too. <laughs> that and, like, Shadow likes having 
stuff recorded. Oh. Forget my electro box. Gotcha. I'm actually from Ohio. Oh, no way. So maybe you would have known each other. I don't know. I was actually, you know, living in uh, Homestead Falls. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Where, where in Ohio? If you don't want to mention, that's totally fine. She's gonna be mad that she slept this long. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Poor Doki. Gotta push this bad boy. So I wonder if I can. So wait, is he still is he in Mississippi or it, like he's from Ohio but lives in Mississippi? Is that what he's trying to say? Yeah, he's Oops. from Ohio. Where? Yeah, where? Where from? Where are you from in Ohio? Push. I was just doing this silly. This is not how you do this puzzle. Sit. Okay. I think I can make that jump. Oh, good. I do have a space. Good old Toledo. That's where we live. No way! Whoa! How old are you? If you don't mind me asking. I'm 29. She's 25-ish. No, you're -ish. 29 going on 30. Yeah. I'm 24 going on 25. 25-ish. You're, you just like to make me so much older. <laughs> I'm closing the gap, okay? I'm, you know, 26 and you're 25 and a half. <laughs> oh my god. We are five years <coughs> apart, okay? Yeah, I'm 21 and she's 26. Oh my god. You said I'm five gonna, years apart. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm five and she's 10. Ew. We're kids. Ew. Fine, I'm 70 and she's 65. She's retired. I'm gonna retire you first. She's a, she's a grandma. Here we go. No, hold your cucumber. Uh-huh. I was expecting. Oh, where the hell is that? I'm 26, by the way. Yep, we're we're right into. Well, she's going to Toledo. Uh, med medical school. Yeah, I like how you're just like freely giving this information. <laughs> like it matters. Uh, it does kind of, but that's okay. <laughs> oh dear, a doctor who likes to play video games. So scandalous. I just don't want people asking me for um medical advice because I can't I can't give it if I don't know you as a patient way to be presumptuous I'm Look. just saying I'm just saying <laughs> I'm very cautious about that I'm old-ish thanks everyone oh no you're fine you're one of us one of us age ain't nothing but a number after you're 25 we should call our followers like the, like the stars or something I don't know cause like I'm Luna your shadow I don't know we should like think of something cool like the angry army and I don't know they're not angry they're very pleasant no, people I'm talking about um, angry Joe he calls his people the angry army oh. my nails split really bad and like ripped off today 
Well, why'd Beautiful. you do that? I didn't do it. I'm just kidding. I went to Bowser High School. Ba Bowser. Yeah, I know. I always call it Bowser. Bowser or High School, or however you spell it. it, when I lived here, there. Oh, nice. I didn't grow up in Toledo, actually. I grew up at the, in the Cleveland area, on Sid Falls, actually. And I lived in Jersey. Yeah, we met. Um, you can you can tell them how we met. We met at singlefarmers.com. Oh, no, we didn't. Hush up. Christian Mingle. No, we did not. <laughs> no, we did not. We met by we chatting. Met, we met on gothgirlswantadaddy.com. No. You're such a goth. Look at you. No. <laughs> My sister went to Bowser freshman, high school, uh, freshman year. Oh, nice. Small world. What, uh, what brought you out to <laughs> oh, Mississippi? Oh, I knew it. I got a lover. <laughs> Farmersonly.com. <laughs> 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 Christian farmers only. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Speaking of which, I do have a cross tattoo. But I'm not that Christian. Not at all. <laughs> my philosophy on. What a coincidence. <laughs> my philosophy is be good, do good. Yep. But. I'm not so good. Be um, best. I'm evil. Be best. No, you're not evil. Yeah? You are so generous to I people. Have a, I bought this exotic animal. That is illegal. <laughs> Whatever. I taught him how to sit still so that nobody can suspect that oh. he's <laughs> real. <laughs> uh. He only eats at night, so that's what the creaking is, you know. What you thought was the wind, you know, was just him farting. My <laughs> my mom was in the military, so we moved a lot. I'm about to move to Georgia or Texas real soon. Whoa! So what what's um, prompting you to move? Is it job related? Like do you, do you work for a company that incentivizes you moving a lot, or what? What's the situation? Oh, I'm if being you get, really nosy. Sorry, I, I'm you, just interested. If you get paid relocation, that's awesome. That's what my aunt and uncle did. They're engineers. They were engineers for like GM for like years, and like they got paid relocations every single time. See, I like. That's how they're like swimming in money. I like moving, so that never bothered me. So. I if, don't. Well, she doesn't like change, so. But I mean, if if I was still single, I would definitely have a job where I can travel more. Nah, Mississippi is just boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. And it takes forever to spell. Is it three S's, four S's, M I S S I S S I S S I S S I P P I? Yeah. Nice. Um, Mississippi is bordering to Louisiana, correct? It's. Um, do you ever go down to? Norlands. Not yeah, Norlands. New Orleans. I've always wanted to go to Norlands because you know I like spicy food. And I want Cajun the beignets. Mmm, beignets. I like all the sweet stuff. He likes all the spicy stuff, so that's a perfect place. Yeah, I got a spicy tooth. I have a sweet tooth. Speaking of, I strongly consider bringing some ice cream back here with me while I try and do these essays. I bet you did. Alright, let me, uh... Everyone here does LOL. Gets old fast. Everyone here does. Gets old fast. I don't know what you're referencing. I have like really bad church memory. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you ever had to fight a gator? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, never, never moved, moved from the Toledo area. Yeah. Though I do hopefully 
get to move west in the next few years. Yeah, in your tiny house. Man, this is like... This is the third country I've lived in, yet alone freaking, like, fourth city. Mm -hmm. And probably, like, 15th place. Mm -hmm. Actually, so we had the two apartments in here, so that's three, yeah. And then Hoboken, and three in Jersey, so that's seven. I don't want to think about how many places I've lived. Many, many, many. I live... Lakewood, um, Pit Falls, and then my dorm, oh. my first apartment, oh god, second apartment, third apartment, then, uh, then our oh, house. Oh, he said, uh, oh, you guys asked if people go to New Orleans here. Oh. Uh, that's when he said, uh, everyone does. So it I gets get, old real fast. Got it, got so it. So I think that's like living in new jersey all the new yorkers come down for the bennies yeah all the bennies come down for summer yeah the Jer all the people for jersey shore just <laughs> for them. sorry sorry dear i went to Watcha! university here Take that in coconut. mississippi that was about two or three hours away from new orleans and the university even closes for Mardi Gras. No way! <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Well, I mean... We don't get anything like that up here. I'm sure it just gets wild for the entire, like, week. What did you, what did you study? <laughs> he studied Girls Gone Wild. Oh, jeez. Hey, those are... Giving out Mardi Gras beads. There's many volumes to study. Mm -hmm. um, I have actually never had a porno magazine in my life. <laughs> I but, like how we just like but, a um, laugh my ass off. <laughs> but there was one kid who actually brought them to school, and we we're like, "What? The what? what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> This was in middle school, right? Oh my god, he thought he was cool. And he like brought it. To, it was Spanish class. I remember that specifically. Volume two, to be exact. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. He got a double D in <laughs> Girls Gone Wild class. <laughs> Not, nah, but I studied accounting. Oh neat. Cool. Oh, dang it. Um. So, are you an accountant then? Is that is that what you do, or is there something like a CPA that you can obtain? I don't know a whole lot about accounting. I'll say that right off the bat. Shadow's an engineer. Oh, now who's telling out all the secrets? Oh, like I care. <laughs> yeah. You can talk, yeah, you can talk about your work. You're a design engineer. So when I was in school, I did a co-op ah, as a R&D engineer for medical devices doing stents and catheters. You know, that stuff that opens up your, your arteries when you have heart attacks and clogs and whatnot. Yeah. And that, well, I'm not telling you. <laughs> yes, like, that sounds interesting. I didn't know that. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, well, I mean, stents and catheters have a wide range of uses. That's yes, just uh, the primary thing that they're used for. To open stuff. <laughs> like my mail, right? No, <laughs> not quite. Fuck. Yep, fucked it on myself. And, uh,. When I moved out here, um, they didn't really have much medical device, uh, med biomedical going on out here. So I was looking for jobs, and one of the first jobs that I came across that I applied for. <laughs> <laughs> Lu Luna loves the story. Love it. One of the first jobs that I found and applied for was one called Pizza Engineer. <laughs> no joke. Pizza Engineer was the title. 
where you design new <laughs> topping combinations, cook them, and try them in a lab, I guess. And sadly, Every time it gets me. sadly, I didn't get the job because it was too far. But boy, did I want it. Just for the title alone. What do you do? Uh, I'm a pizza engineer. You know, I become rich one day and they they like, how did you make your millions? You know, pizza engineering. <laughs> yes, pizza engineering. You know that Hawaii... Did you say pizza? You know that, you know that Hawaiian, Hawaiian pizza that everyone talks about? <laughs> that was me. Oh, yeah, you definitely <laughs> did. I love my ass off. That is an awesome, uh, that's awesome. Sucks you didn't get it. <laughs> Trust me, I was so upset when they're like, oh, you're too far. It would be too much of a commute. Uh, we missed one. Uh, well, I just graduated in December. Oh, congrats. Congratulations. Um, so that's... I'm not doing much yet. My degree just came in the mail yesterday, actually. Super congrats to you. That's a huge step, so awesome job um yeah yeah pizza engineer gets me every time i'm like crying i <laughs> laugh so hard <gasps> climbing gear yes <laughs> it just gets better every time we tell it because because i'm just like wait for it wait for it <laughs> <coughs> i can't even and then you think about like if you did get that job what crazy combinations could I come up with? <laughs> Why, thank you. Oh, no problem. Because, I mean, somebody came up with freaking uh, baked ziti pizza with freaking actual ziti that's a real, on a pizza. That's a real pizza. And it's good. Right there. It's good. And it feels like... I wonder if they have pizza accounting. <laughs> <laughs> they probably do. Who's got to count those toppings, yo? <laughs> Inventory manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pizza accounting, probably. <laughs> we a whole bunch of, like, pizza-related... <laughs> oh, speaking of pizza accounting, um, so when I was in Jersey, uh, there's this one pizza place that I love, and it, it's a homemade place, and uh, I need to leave. What, did you, like, figure out that they were the mob? Is that how it relates to accounting? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I have a story about that too. Oh shit! <laughs> so the you know the place that I like. Yeah. And one day, you know, I I went in when they were ordering like their inventory, and I swear it sounded like a drug deal. Like, <laughs> I need fifty pounds of this Asiago. I need. <laughs> <laughs> you got the goods, man. Yeah, I was gonna say you got the good one this this time around. <laughs> I'm like, uh, if you don't, I'm going to bring <laughs> Vinny next time, okay? Capiche? <laughs> but, um, so I went to college in Hoboken, and... That's where Cake Boss is. There's, um... <laughs> shut up. Uh, we don't talk about Cake Boss. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um, and there's these two pizza joints, but they're, like, competing, I guess. But they're right across the street from each other. But the one is called Benny's. And they do have links to the mafia. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's not even just a joke. It's like, <laughs> yes, they actually do. They're more than a pizza place. <laughs> That's the front business. What do you think the marinara is made out of? Oh, shit. <laughs> the blood of their enemies. <laughs> <laughs> You don't talk badly about Tony or Tony put you in the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> You're the next Tuesday special, capiche? <laughs> You're not just sleeping with the fishes, you become with the fishes. How do you think those, those anchovies get so salty? <laughs> That's your tears. Oh, we're so dark. <laughs> <laughs> Keep being the cooler right next to them. Yeah. Oh, man. Darling knows where I'm going. This is a an interesting island to complete. I don't have my full stack of 
abilities and stuff, but eh, I can do it. Oh, wham. Even tide island. Boom. To you who has traveled to this. He's like, he's like, what? Who's saying that? Welcome, Gilligan. Look at him. He's like, what? Who's saying that? I present you with a challenge. In your travels, you relied on the equipment you found along the way. Do it all over. Use your wits and whatever you can scavenge. Guy one, you got what I need. <laughs> I have five pounds of cheese. We meet here again tomorrow behind <laughs> the frying pans in Jimmy's kitchen. <laughs> Uh, and not that island. I can't believe it took me so long. Uh. I'm gonna do it quick for you. <laughs> I got my bat, my babums. Ooh. I want my bow. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Oh, look at this guy. I didn't know they'll pick up those rocks to throw. That's dark, though. Yeah. Okay. So, um, K True, since. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, since you don't know what this is, this island, when you get on here, you lose all your equipment and whatnot, and basically you're starting from scratch. But once you leave, you get your stuff back. Hey guys! How about ya? I'ma steal your stuff. Perfect. I'm watching, I'll be redoing it all soon. What do you mean redo? Did you not beat it? Or, no you didn't restart the game. But you see this this joyous laughter and happiness. This is what I love about streaming. Mm -hmm. Makes me happy. Thank you guys for being part of this. Mm -hmm. I just I just like engaging with people. I think it's fun. And you know me, like I'll talk to all, or all sorts of random people. Do you see him? He's like. Ow, my, my foot. My toe. So, um, on one of my journeys, oh. my family travels a lot. And, like, growing up, we took at least one distant trip per year. So, they still do their trips, but I don't get to go on all of them since I'm all the way out here in Ohio. And I don't have as much vacation time as they do. Like, my mom gets, like, four or five weeks or something. Yeah. And, uh... His mom's pretty high up there in her company. And, uh... What was it? Two years ago now? About two... Yeah, two years ago, we went to Puerto Rico. Yeah. Well, I stayed home. And, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was pissed. And, uh... I don't think I've gone on a vacation with your family yet because of school. Well, blame your medical school. I know. Um, okay, so, yeah, we, we went to Puerto Rico, and there's this... There's a lot of trails and mountains and stuff you can climb. And we were doing one in particular, and... Like, my... I have Lyme disease, so, like, I'm not as fit as I used to be. Like, I get wiped out easier. But even still in this condition, I am more fit than my family. And that's nothing against them. Like, they can do what they need to, but climbing up a mountain is not really their thing. But I am the one who does all the crazy shit. And, uh... Yeah, you're a risk taker. It makes me nervous. So that we were climbing up this, this mountain trail. It wasn't, like, actually rock climbing. We are climbing up this trail, and... Like, Ooh, quarter way up, they got wiped out because it was a long trail and it got pretty steep at points. And then my brother kept up with me till about halfway. And then I kept going all the way to the top. Oh, jeez. 
There was a, a chew in there. Is he... Okay, he's still sleeping. This is the hardest... Well, I just need to concentrate on this for a sec. This is the hardest one to get. I'm watching... I'll be reading it soon. Crap! I'm I fell through it. What starting. crap is that? Josh is restarting. See, this is what I was talking about, uh, darling. Because I tried doing that the first time I played the game, and it just never worked. And as you saw just now, I just fell right through him. Um, yeah, so we were climbing up the mountain, and my brother gave up halfway, and I kept going. And then, um, like, near the top, I didn't know how much further I had to go. Because, I mean, at that point, you're getting, like, so exhausted, and just like, should I turn back, or should I keep going? What the hell? Like, this never ends. But I kept going, and when I was actually near the top, the it started pouring rain. Like, tropical storms, they get pretty bad. Oh, come on. I gotta do this quick. Well, that sucked. Oh, these. Just move, just move. Yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Go there. Yes. One down. Ah, damn it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it started pouring, and I saw, like, a little shelter. It, it looked almost like a, like a waypoint, but it wasn't taken care of, so it was pretty much destroyed, and this was before the, uh, the hurricanes, and, oh, they put me all the way here? Jeez. That's shitty. So, yeah, it was a dilapidated little shelter thing, and, uh. I was just chilling there, and then another older couple, they came up, and, uh, they, you know, like, most people, they don't really talk to strangers, so, like, I'm sitting on my corner, and they're sitting at the other corner, just, like, keeping to themselves, and I'm like, you know what, I'm trapped in this storm with these people, let me just talk to them, so I went over and started talking to them, and, uh, I found out, like, they were, they were the travel agents. Oh. And, uh, even cooler, they were also from New Jersey, just, like, a couple towns over. Whoa. I was like, well, look at this. What are the chances that we meet in freaking Puerto Rico? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I love talking to random people and, like, hearing their stories and stuff. Which is also what translates into liking to talk to people on Twitch. So, another... So, last year, I was flying to, uh, St. Martin... And, again, I was just sitting in the airport. I was flying by myself because my parents are still in Jersey. And I was flying there from here. And, uh, come on, come on, blah, blah, blah. I'm sitting next to some random lady and I decided to talk to her. Lo and behold, she's also from Trinidad, which is... Whoa, that's uh, rare. Uh, like, yeah, I lived in Jersey, but we're from Trinidad. And Tobago in the Caribbean. So we started talking again. She's another like older lady. Oh, the the, the travel agents they too are retired like older people. Mm -hmm. And like you know, the older you are, the more stories you have. So like, that's why we had a whole bunch to talk about. But the uh, the lady in the airport, she was <coughs> not a flight attendant, but she worked in. Um, customer service for an airport mm -hmm. or an airline and she's saying that she still got the same benefits as somebody who did work on planes mm -hmm. like she got the free travel and whatnot so I was like you know what that's what I want to do I'll work for customer service and you know get my free air travel I'd miss you if you are gone all that time I'm gonna be traveling forever can't stop won't stop Traveling is life. 
but the cool thing too is that you also get like the the free side tickets too for other people i'm good if someone comes up to me for conversation but rarely will i agree to that <laughs> or rarely will i speak first oh sorry well that that's the interesting th thing about me too is that i'm deathly shy but Sometimes I'll just be in the mood where I'm just like, oh, I'll just talk to this random person and see what they got to say. And that's the thing, too, is that, like, being shy, you know, it's, it's whatever, but it's not how you make friends. And I don't want to be alone. So that's why I kind of... You're not alone. You got me. Well, even still, like, if I'm, if I'm at work, you know, if I just be shy and not to talk to anybody, then I'll have no one to talk to but um so even though like still to this day i'm still shy but i'll force myself to be an extrovert but you know with any other introvert there there's a limit to how much social energy you have mm-hmm and you're then, like, and then you're he, like, this is nice. Okay, now I'm done. Yeah, it's like, okay, I got my fill for the day. Time to, you know, go home and <laughs> chill on the couch. Yep. Did that go just commit suicide? Nope, there's a little ledge there. Hey, buddy! Ugh. So that guy, I shouldn't have killed him. But those guys, if you throw your rusty stuff at them, they'll clean it up. Oh, that's neat. Come here, goat. Dang it. Oh. I thought I was going to eat good tonight. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Meep, 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 Ah, jeez. <laughs> It kind of sucks that they you lose your fairies for this island. Mm -hmm. I kind of forgot that I didn't have the fairies, which is why I was a little extra reckless just now. I want my two jellies. I don't need them right now, but I want them. Yep. Look at him coming, charging. Thank you. Give me my steak. Nice and cooked. I'm looking for my durian. Where's my durian? No durian this time? Boo. Maybe it's in here. Oh no, don't run away. No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> you son of a butt. <laughs> wow, not worth it. Talk about luck. <laughs> that was really bad. Does that mean I could spend time cooking? I'm cooking and cleaning over here, but I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna put on my stasis. I don't think saving works on this island. Yeah. That's so shitty. Alright, let's get this bad boy. Just get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I don't want the bow. I want the ball. Give me the ball. Yeah. <laughs> run, run, run. Is he... Yep, there he is. So, um, like I was telling you before, the the first time I was doing this island, he was glitching out and I could not grab the ball from him if my life depended on it. And then you saw again, like I fell right through him, which is pretty much what was happening happening before. So, um, I had tried like three or four times to get it to work and it just would not work. So I just assumed that, okay, I guess this is not going to happen. Where is he? Where is he? He's coming. Oh, I like when things follow you. He's... He should be coming up the hill. Hit him with explosives. Hey, buddy! 
<laughs> um, so he has a piece of wood on his foot, so that's what's burning. Mm -hmm. So that's one ball. I think the other one is in the woods there. And the uh, final one's up here, which is one I just died at. Come on, baby. Come on. See, you can sneak around here, too, if you wanted. Yeah. You see nothing? You still see nothing? Oh, I don't even have an arrow. I forgot I didn't pick up any arrows this time. Uh... Ah. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Ah, oh, crap. No. Okay, I should really do this one first. That was a fail. <sighs> Sorry, I'm failing. It sucks when you're naked. I wish I could find a private beach and just live my life. Right? Mm -hmm. Just have a, a fridge of infinite food and I'll be happy. Is that, a, is that too much to ask for? There's actually a, um, a, a small island somewhere in the, uh, in the Caribbean. I forget which country it is specifically. But basically it's literally just a small island with like a resort on it. AKA just like some like cottages. Like three or four so you can go there with like 10 to 16 people and just have an island to yourself for a while and supposedly like cleaners and stuff they come and uh clean it up but yeah you're basically like disconnected from the world and i want to go there because it sounds awesome i present you a challenge oh really a new challenge i haven't seen this before You know what, this time I'm just gonna say screw it to all the weapons. I don't need the weapons. I don't really have to fight anything. I can just blow up whatever's in my way. And hopefully not blow myself up again. And I forget where the third orb is. I swear it's in here though. Da -da 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 -da. There's a skelly man. Oh yeah, of course, because it's uh, it's nighttime as well, so that's why there's the extra skelly men's around. I really don't remember where the third orb is. Oh, there it is. Just chilling. Excuse me, guys. Coming through. gotta try to avoid these bombs of my own. Oh crap. Alright, at least I can pick up the bow. And arrows, that's a good start. Nope, nope, nope. Excuse you. I'd like you to have this bab them. I like that the choo-choo's burn everything. Mm -hmm. Alright, so easy orb down. If I fail this time, I'll just hold off on this island, I guess. But it doesn't take so long when you don't actually try to get decked out in equipment. Because you really don't need to, you're just running through and getting the three orbs and putting them in place. This one is the harder one, I would say. Jeez. Uh, K-True, since you haven't played the game yet, um, anything with projectiles 
have ridiculously good aim, as you can tell. He can't even see me, but he'll still hit me. I gotta serpentine and hide and run and duck. Dip, duck, dodge. What's the five D's of dodgeball? What's your favorite comedy? Comedy? Yeah. Mm. I did enjoy the first hangover. I did not enjoy the second one. Because it was pretty much the first one again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they lost their originality. And even the third one was just... That was one of those movies that should have been stuck at one. So this can be bad. Because sometimes the ball will get stuck. Meh, meh. Break, break. Come on, just... Missed. Shaky hands is not a good thing for this. Ugh. You suck. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, ba ah. All right. So collectively, I've done all three. <laughs> now I just got to do it in one shot. But as you can see, like, I did everything without needing to kill anything. You just pick up that ore, put it in. You get the one from on top of the Hinox, and you put it in the mountaintop. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Still gonna blow up these guys, though. Because they would wreck me with those babums. Free food. Since I was too late there, you saw that some of the food burned away. So food, you just have to put it next to a fire and they cook. But if you leave it on the fire just a couple seconds too long, it just burns to nothingness. I like how it just rained fruit everywhere. Hydro melon. Instead of water melon. Mm -hmm. Part of me wonders if that was intentional or... Mm, a mistranslation. Could be. Rusty bread Have sword. you ever seen those watermelon that grow in a, a box? Square? Yeah. A square? Yeah. They make them easy for cutting. I just think they're cool looking, and then I think some people do heart shaped ones now. Mm. For, th or for I was going to say Thanksgiving. Yeah, hearts for Thanksgiving. That's what everybody thinks of, right? Nah, for Valentine's Day. You know, it's it's funny, like, the the simple but effective things that, you know, blow up into, like, Oh, this was a good idea. I'm surprised nobody ever thought of it before. Come on, come on, right here, right here. One thing to also be careful about is the, uh, those... Bokoblins, they are smart. And they will throw your bombs back at you or kick you kick it back at you. Yeah. Like he's about to there. Oh he's got a torch. A torch and a pot lid. I missed. I screwed it up. Epic battle. Da, 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 da. Damn it. He takes so long to freaking swing. I die. You need a better melee weapon. Melee. Guacamelee. I just need to eat some apples. Uh, I'll just eat this. And this. And this. Oh, and he's still alive. Alright, just go around so you don't wake him up. 
So since he was still aware of my position, he would make noise and uh. Okay. No, no. You clipped through him. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. I said, no, oh, I missed the lizard. Half of the time, I just clipped through him like. Nyah. I don't know if this will. Oh, jeez. Hey, stop. Don't show me your ass. I only got three more arrows. He's working it for you. Oh, jeez. No, I don't want that. I want the ball. Oh, you suck. Yes! Gimme, 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 gimme! <laughs> run! 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 Oh fuck, Chew Jelly, Chew Jelly! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, you distract him, Chew. <laughs> and the other Moblin's still ahead of me, so I gotta be careful. I'm still here listening. I was kicking button, uh... For all holla. Mm. Uh, la, 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 la. Don't touch me! But now I'm gonna get back to watching this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Run. Yeah, I know. Ugh. So that's two down. I'm out of here, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. That just reminds me of like a Mission Impossible, you know. Yeah. He, he steals the diamonds you time, and then, you time cruise yeah. it. Yeah. And then there's a hand glider waiting in the background. Yep. Oh, you haven't seen the oh jeez, <gasps> what, what the hell? <laughs> you haven't seen the the latest um, Mission Impossible with uh. Henry Cavill. Yeah, huh? Did you? I was with you. I don't know. I've seen. We saw it in the movie theater. Well, because you I, really I, wanted to see it, and I was like, okay. I saw it on Netflix. I was like, okay, I I can watch this again. Working, not watching. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, but, but... you're okay. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. <laughs> That's enough. Just don't hit me. Please don't hit me. It's crazy things happen sometimes. Oh, jeez. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Whoa! Ah, 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 Nothing to see ah, here. Ah, ah. Nothing to Hydra see melon. here. Hydro melon. <laughs> it sounds like you're saying hydro melon. <laughs> <laughs> hydro melon. Hide your wife. Hide your melons. Hide your kids. All right. Oh, it almost fell down on its own too. All right, let's see. Square bomb. Kabow! Kabow! Damn it. You stay away from me. Oh, jeez. Eat all the food. This is for all the wampums. No, no, no. No. Right there. Right there. It's right there. It's right there. Fuck it's right bitches. there. It's right there. Go. Go. Ooh. Go, baby. Go. It's not done yet. I gotta run. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's working on twi Twitch panels? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait. Watching on Twitch panels? Come on, baby. Watch it, like, turn my camera around so that I'm running straight towards them. Oh, stop it. No. Okay. Save, <laughs> save, my save, stuff. save, 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 save. Give me my stuff. Now I'm gonna kick some ass. Sweet vengeance. You guys thought you could bully me when I had nothing. At least I have my fairies now. I can... I, yeah, you told me to save. Save. Oh, you know what? Just for good measures. Come on. There you go. There you go, baby. Let's go kick some ass, doggo. Go get him! Get him! Take him out. 
that wolf blink. Gotta fuck shit up. Oh, it feels good to get vengeance. Whew. All right, getting my 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 bits and pieces. Where you going, boy? Oh. Throw an explosive at him. <laughs> that was extra satisfying. Get him, boy. Get him. You get him. Yeah. That was way too much excitement. <laughs> <laughs> but it was worth it. It's one of those feel-good moments when you fail a couple times and then everything works out perfectly. Look at the cranes up here. So peaceful. Ah, I'll show you peace. <laughs> no more peace on this island. Ah, all right. Whew. I have accomplished my goal. Brawlhalla, but now I'm going to get back to watching on this, working on the Twitch panels. I still have um, a couple panels to work out too. For now, I at least added the countdown clock so that anyone that comes to my channel, they'll be able to see that um, when we're gonna start. And hopefully it has the times uh, converted to whatever time zone people are in i don't know if it works or not but i mean we we have a pretty steady schedule anyways <clears throat> and i see we have six viewers right now so um for everyone else hi shadow Hello. here you know Luna. feel free to chat away if you want to or you can just lurk <laughs> lurk well uh, it's it's just a term for people who watch but don't really chat or anything. That's okay. Yeah, I'm fine with it. As long as they're enjoying our nonsense yeah. and my my super hype moment there. Yep. I was hoping Greg was going to be awake because I know he wanted to see the next Divine Beast, but it's okay that he's not there because then... Um, I won't spoil anything for Katrus. I can at least just focus on shrines. I heard there's treasure. You and I have that in common. So this is just a, a little mini game. Mini game, yeah. I think we'll be fast friends. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, whenever, if you talk to old school gamers, whenever you hear flying through rings, think of Superman 64 and that god-awful nonsense of a game. One of, one of the worst games ever. Uh-oh, I want to get it. There we go. Their time limit? No. Um, well, your time limit is until your stamina runs out. And since I'm only working with um, two circles now, well, I want to get it. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> oh. It's really windy outside. I didn't realize there was this much more. 
Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna have enough to go through the entire thing. Yeah, oh, I missed one. Ah, oh, I missed another one. Well, game over. Boop. Thirty-one rings. I never did that with only two rings of stamina. I didn't know how far I would get. New record! 31 rings! Oh my god! You gotta sell my rupee! So I think you can, you can keep doing this as much as you want to get a silver rupee each time, but I ain't about that life. Um, what I can do, or what I will do instead, is there are a... Oh... Uh, and I won't do it yet because I don't have the map for this area. But when you have the map, you can see all the tiny islands. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Are you taking bird eggs? I am taking breakfast. Ah, uh, you're so lucky. It's raining out. Uh, this one's the metal. Okay. Link, destroyer of worlds, wielder of the leaf. Watch out! Gonna blow these guys away. Huh. Huh. <laughs> yep. yep, denied. That's satisfying. Oh, jeez. I think it just like likes, the lightning like likes you and targets you. All right, so uh, I finessed Photoshop legally, by the way, so I'm using it for free. Nice. <laughs> I am neither condoning or condemning pirating. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Um, let's see. Oh, it's all the way over here. That sucks. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. You have your water cup nearby? Or is it on the ground? Yeah, it's on the ground. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry. I finished my juice. Yeah. So, here's another uh, Puerto Rico story when I was there. Like, I'm again, I'm from the Caribbean, and Trinidad has a lot of curry food and whatnot, and, um, I mean, it's delicious. I'm just not even going to beat around the bush. And then I went to Puerto Rico, and it feels like Trinidad. Everything about it, like, you know, seems like it, but then it comes to the food, and Puerto Rico is a lot of fried food, mm -hmm. and I have no idea if that has anything to do with like being like tied to America. Loopy. Has anything to do with being tied to America or anything like that? But um, what if I can? Can you stay sit down? That's what I was wondering. Nope. But um, nope. one thing that Puerto Rico does do well is that there's a ton of Fruits and beverages. Damn it. I hate you. There we go. At least I got a few out of them. Ah, yeah. oh, dang it. Rupees. Ah, bear! I thought its <laughs> snout was an eye. And I was like, what is that monstrosity? I like how he's, like, cowering to me. Rawr. I'm gonna get you. Oh, there's another one. Look at his big bushy tail. He's like, ah, oh, you took my lover. How do you know they're lovers? They're bears. <laughs> and they ain't got nothing to do for like three months when they're hibernating. <laughs> what do you think they're doing in that cave? Probably plotting it's... mass destruction. No, it's Bear Pound Town, okay? Oh. Really? Mm hmm. The truth comes out. Really? 
I learned that from Sesame. Ew. What's that? <laughs> you said you learned it from Sesame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they give you a free trial, and after you close out of it, then you can't use it anymore until you pay. So I never close out of it. <laughs> 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 Yep, that's one way to beat the system. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't think of that. That's just so simple. Well, I mean, there's um, um, I think one of the zip file programs. It tells you to, hey, your trial is over. Upgrade. Uh, are you trying to get me off? No, -uh, not today, buddy. And uh, yeah, they they try to get you to upgrade. You're like pooting on a bear. But if you just, uh... Here, go up on this rock. Go, if, up on, go up on the rock. If you just close... Ah, uh, it's too high. Oh. So say, like, you could be, like, all majestic like Lion King. I wish I could take a picture of myself while I'm on here. If you just close out of the program, it just asks you every time, Hey, your trial is up. Would you like to upgrade? And we're like, no. Rivali's Perfect, that's what I was waiting for. What? <laughs> the Rivali's Gale. So I can do the high jump. Alright, alright. I'm out. Thank you for the ride. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate much. your sacrifice. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. your sacrifice. I appreciate it. So much. Oh dang, not my leaf. I appreciate you so much. Now I shall wear your pelt. Mm. What do you mean, ew? What do you think, people? Oh, so many fishes. Time to go bomb fishing. Staminola base. All about that base. Uh, I have no idea, but I've been using it for over a month with, without, or, yeah, without paying anything. I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, and photo Photoshop is not cheap at all. Mm -mm. Oh, you know what I have now? I have the, uh, Full set of climbing gear. Bop, 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 bop. Bear grills, baby. I just need to get up this mountain because the tower is right above it, nearby. Ooh, a babble mobile. Babble mobile space. Yep. I don't like this crap in here. It's garbage. Amber. Opal. Toasted hearty truffle. Do you like truffles? If they're chocolate ones, yes. <laughs> um, two, two Valentine's days ago. Or two Valentine's Days, two years, blah, Valentine's Day, two years ago. I made Luna um, Oreo truffles dipped in chocolate with mini Oreos on top for garnish. And then uh, chocolate covered strawberries and, and, and cheesecake in a wine glass. It was like, a, it was all professional dessertish. Yes to the chocolate ones. See? See? Is this that, is why we're friends. Is that the new TLC show? Say yes to the chocolate. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yes, Shadow did make all of those things for me. I had truffles for the first time when I went to Europe. They were pretty good. I've never had actual truffles. We I both... only have the chocolate ones because yeah. that's the only type that matter to me. And actual truffles are like mushrooms. We've had truffle oil before. Yes, they are. They get like literally like huge pigs to sniff them out of the ground. Yes, uh, that part I knew. Um, huge pigs, like the type from like um, 
Um, Wind Waker. That huge pig. <laughs> right, come on. There you go. Instead of sniffing rupees, they sniff truffles. Whatcha? Oh, don't roll down. I'm coming for you, boy. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I haven't had actual ones. I want to try them, though. Yeah. You can try my actual Oreo truffles. Make them for me. Is that my Valentine's Day present? Oh, it's my Valentine's Day present. I got you some things that would be nice. Is it stuff that you want? <laughs> I know I know you're kind of gifting sometimes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's legit stuff that you'd want to try too. Oh, try too. So it's like food. Okay. <laughs> One of them. Ah. Beep, 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 beep. One, well, the other one of them is just something cool. And I already got one thing for your birthday already. I don't want anything. Too bad. I don't want. It, you're I turning want. 30. I'm doing something nice for you. I'm not turning 30. Yes, you are. I'm not 30. Dirty 30. No. Dirty 30. Denied. Rain is the bane of my life, but that's why I have Revali's scale. <laughs> Um, dirty 30. No, you stop that. You stop that right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why I, don't you like it? I reject your reality and substitute my own. But you can say goodbye to your, your 20s yeah. in a bang way. In a bang way? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean in a bang way? I don't know. I'm going to shoot up fireworks from I'm my tired. window. I'm tired. <laughs> I think I need ice cream. Uh huh. Seems mm -hmm. like you're not tired enough. Alright, do I have. Oh, dang, wrong button. Mm -ping. Yep, I already had that one. Delete. Maybe if, yes, ice cream, what do you have there? We have um, cookie dough ice cream. We've been looking for the, well, her more so has been looking for the cookie dough core Ben and Jerry's that they announced, but we haven't seen it selling it. Oh my God. I've been waiting for these things. Waiting for it because Shadow and I are like, hmm, they've done cheesecake cores and they've done caramel cores and brownie better cores and blah 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 cores. Why haven't they done cookie dough cores? And then lo and behold, I find out that they're gonna make these cookie dough cores and I am ready. And I'm like, oh, they're supposed to be in stores this month. And I was like, oh yeah. So I'm like, looking up Kroger, can't find them at Kroger. And I was like, you know, you know who probably has it? Walmart. Walmart. Every single time. Same thing with like the Pillsbury uh, shape cookies. Those little sugar cookies that have like the colored like shapes for holidays on them. They're like, they're round, but they have like a Christmas tree on them that's colored, for example. Or like a heart that's colored for Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness. They always have them. Kroger very seldom has them. And if you do find them at Kroger, they're freaking hidden. Hidden in plain sight. You wouldn't think you wouldn't think that they were anywhere, but they're in like those middle um areas. And they only sell them for like a week and then they're gone. But but they always have the football ones. I'm you know what? You hear I'm the, just upset. You hear these first world problems? Yes, they are first world problems. I <laughs> fully recognize this but like when you're like oh yeah this thing that's new is being sold and it's available now you're like what the heck why aren't they carrying it do they realize how much money they'd be missing out on for me yeah like, me specifically i could have been eating like 14 of these already i know right bam 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 you know i'm not even gonna risk it let's go 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 it's good you should you should try it i love ben and jerry's it Benadryl is, is expensive, but 
I feel like, you know, getting a pint, having a little pint, and then not being able to eat a whole box worth of ice cream is better. And it's good. Oh, it's good what the hell quality, is that? ethically sourced. I mean, I do care about things like that, but, like, I don't know. Like, some, there's something to be said for, like, the way they make their ice cream. Like, it tastes good, and I know it's, like, it's not full of chemicals. Like another you competitor assume. would be. No, but it's it's not. That's not the. There's not the way they do things. Everything. You don't know that. Do you sit there in their ice cream shop and be like, "Hey, I see you putting arsenic in there." <laughs> no, <laughs> their their business model is really good too. They like. You just like their taste. That's why you'd be like, "I'll defend it to the day I'm, I die." I'm pretty sure Vermont would not exist anymore without Ben and Jerry's. Pretty sure. Oh, yeah. That's my conspiracy theory of the day. <laughs> Pretty sure Vermont would cease to have any type of economic power without Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> they actually, did you hear Did you hear about this? Vermont is actually paying people a 10K stipend to, to, move there. to move there and work remotely. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, there's no way I could ever do that unless I did telemedicine. And even then, I really wouldn't want to necessarily do telemedicine. Um, quality of Ben and Jerry's is definitely good. I stick with Cherry Garcia most of the time. I don't like cherries, but I like at that. least you recognize that I like ben that and big huff, like, <sighs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just don't, I don't like cherries. I just don't. I just, no, I just I like that like, was your initial reaction. I, I don't like <sighs> artificial cherries. I don't like real cherries. None of that. You like real cherries. You'll eat cherries. I'll eat them, but. I don't like them. I like I like other berries like strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. I don't really eat blackberries unless they're in a smoothie. Yeah. Um, I don't like bananas unless they're like in something like banana bread <laughs> or a smoothie. Banana. Um. This is the shrine that always annoys me. Oh, this is the one that's. Under the waterfall. Well, I'll just do it this way. Huh. Yes. Nice. Good timing. It was fun, guys. I have to go now, but I'll be back in the future. Thank you so much for dropping my... Uh, yeah, we really enjoyed talking to you. Y'all know where to find us. We're yeah. always beyond like every day. If if he has a channel, we'll have to check him out too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have a good night, Katrus. Thanks. <laughs> they re regal send off. Still want to call Greg and see if he's around. Went, 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 went up to Michigan for all their cherry fests. I didn't realize cherry fests were a thing. Oh, I'm, I'm positive they probably are. So there's two ways to go about this. You can, uh, do it properly. Mm -hmm. Or you can just cheat and just be like, hey, I'm just going to put some ice blocks and carry it across. No problem. Have a nice stream and good night. Bum -ba -dum -dum. This one's theoretically easy, but still it can get annoying real quick. And bam! Oh dang it, I didn't even have my weapon out. And go! Didn't need to do all that, but... Look at that, first go! try. I got it, I got it. <laughs> we did it. How funny would it be if that chest killed me? It was like, Voodoo. no problem. Have, yeah, have a, a nice night. stream and good night.
go. It is 902. Mm -hmm. 902 or whatever is that show? 902. 902. 902. 902. 902. 902. 902. 902. 902. 902. Why would you get Michigan cherries? <laughs> Sorry. No, I just don't like cherries at all. So I'm like, good for you. Yeah. So, what, a, what a fool. That's, that's like a great time, though. My favorite thing um, is the cherry, the cherry, um, the cherry tree blooming festival that they have in Washington, D.C. It's beautiful. When the cherry trees bloom, I think it's so pretty. Well, that's why. So well, the funny thing is, they were gifted by Japan. Japan. Mm -hmm. um, what I was going to say is, um, at least in the past, almost all of the trees in Trinidad were fruit trees. Which, I don't know, I think my mom told you about this too, is that, like, so when we came up here, and you see people with just trees that are just trees, we're like, but, but why? <laughs> know mm -hmm. like pretty much every tree down there had like mango trees orange trees uh i was gonna say guacamole trees i guess mm -hmm. uh avocado trees to call them um guava my my favorite fruit i guess you can call it fruit is uh not mango despite that seeming like my answer. Mm -hmm. It's actually sugar cane. Excuse me, sir. I don't like you spitting at me. How do you like me now? I hate their obnoxiously good aim. I swear they have aim bots on. I love cherry blossom trees. Yeah, they're yeah. so beautiful. If we had a, uh, if we had trees, well, when we have trees, they'll most likely be cherry blossoms. I want cherry blossoms like lining our driveway. Could you I imagine how know. beautiful that would be? To just drive, like, okay, I have really expensive taste. Let's just put that out there. So like like bordering our house like i've already talked to shadow about how like i want there to be like um like a stone like wall gate around the property which is gonna be super freaking expensive love it um or brick i'd be fine with that whatever no no screw brick <laughs> i mean i think brick i hate brick, brick. walls <laughs> well stone walls will be expensive brick makes your house look like it's 60 years old. I so good stone, though. Not really. Stone okay. looks more modern. Especially if you do a nice smooth wall. What about concrete? Concrete actually would be That's really... I mean. a, like a smooth wall. Yeah, actually concrete would be a lot cheaper way to go. We should do that. We could, like, stucco it with stones, too, if we really wanted to. But, like, all oh, the concrete's drying. Um, so, yeah. We'll do that, actually. But, like, I would love to, like... I want a gate. It doesn't have to be a fancy gate. It could be just like one of those like Wi-Fi things that like unlocks when you're like home or whatever. But like I would love the driveway and I don't need to have a huge driveway, but like I want the driveway to be lined by cherry trees. I think that'd be really pretty. I haven't thought of that before, but I think that'd be really nice. And then one of my things uh, that I want to do is get the floor plans to an old Victorian summer home. They have them out in New Jersey still in Asbury Park. Very, very affluent area. Um, and those houses. I, I don't know if Tori's taking you there. but like I've been to Asbury on my own. Super, 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 super gorgeous. And they're huge houses. 
So, like, I would like to get the floor plans to one, build it modernly, but, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, a modern old house, yes. you know? And just modernize the inside of it, it with a floor plan as we're building it. So I think that would be super cool because you have this old looking house that fits with like a theme ish, but then it's like freaking completely new on the inside. And you don't have to worry about any like structural damage, whatever, historical landmark, nothing. I swear those. Taking those features and putting it within a new modern house. I swear those birds just came out of the water. Yeah, me too. That was weird. But yeah, like Ooh. things like that, uh, like. Uh, that's what that's what I want to do. Dang it! <laughs> I just broke it. Like I really want to build our own home one day. I lost the tower. It should be around this corner. Should be ish. Somewhere. Somewhere yonder. Mm. I don't know. There it is. Otro vato. I haven't tried sugar cane before. Watched videos though. Yeah, you'd never get fresh sugar cane up here. You gotta go to the source. Freshly chopped down. And then there's uh like vendors who will basically like grind it into like sugar cane juice. And it's so delicious and sweet, because obviously it's fucking sugar cane. <laughs> Oh yeah, I kind of blanked out my story I was telling before too. So when we were in Puerto Rico, all the food is like fried and whatnot. But um, they do have a lot of like fruit smoothie and fruit vendor drinks places. And that's pretty much 90% of what I sustained myself upon. Delicious fruit drinks and such. Gotta get past the Thunder Man. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Um, this one should be the air vent. Excuse me, guys. Can you not? Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. This tower doesn't really have ledges. Until you're way up there, so. Are you kidding me? Bep. Let's see if this works. Okay, so I have one more after this. And then I have to edit all of these. Bam, 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 bam. Damn it. Now it's ice cream time. Girl, it's a nine ten. <laughs> A little bit of ice cream. I'll share it with you. Uh huh. <laughs> That's always your ploy. Elevator going up. This is the first time that it's not freaking pouring rain when I'm here. And thundering. Like it was before, but these it was when I was doing the other shrine area. Um, what other fruits do you try? Uh, fresh coconut. None of this dried coconut nonsense. I'll get more water. I'm good. I have been quenched. My dad loves dried coconut. He loves coconut. Snowballs, yes. He loves those. What movie? Loves those. Name the movie. Woody Harrison. Snowballs. I don't know. Zombie Land. Oh yeah. <laughs> he is looking for his damn Twinkies. Twinkies, and he got snowballs instead. And then he found that hostess truck, uh, broken and abandoned at the side of the road, and he's like, "Fuck yeah, Twinkies!" Then he opened it. And it was just snowballs, snowballs, snowballs. 
I saw some shrines. There's one. A thing. Damn it, same one again. Are there any other ones I could see easily? I know there's one in this general vicinity about yonder. I have to get back up to the top of this tower because, or not tower, this plateau. Do I have a heart to durian? Um, durian, durian, durian. I swear I picked up one. Uh, I guess I died. Here's one. I guess I should pick up these durians while I'm here because they're really good for... Oh, dang. Cooking. They give your food a healthy kick, to say the least. Damn. You decide against your goods. What? Nope. nope. <laughs> that answers my question. To which I promptly go, what? <laughs> you know the answer to that question, you fool. Mm -hmm. Let me just break it. Nope. I know you're just trying to bribe me. That's love. That's bribes. <laughs> yeah, it's a good deal, dude. Nom, nom, nom. Yep. Well, that was creepy. Gotcha. Wham. Well, geez. At least I replaced my broken weapon already. Um, heart turn. There it is. Hold. Look at all my spikies. See, Patricia? You need these in your fruit basket in Mario Party. Durians? Yep. No, uh, the bombs. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. You found me. There's so many, so many Koroks in this game that they're in very interesting places and challenges. Come on, buddy. You can make it. There should be a Lionel up here. Sometimes I find... Ah! Damn it. What? Yeah. Oh, I got him. I feel like the cookie dough to ice cream ratio could be higher. Oh, wait. That's... Know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not deleting them all, that's why I'm selecting them by myself. Yeah, there's nothing uh, fishy about any of these ingredients. Except for the mild. fish ingredient. All cocoa, sugar, and vanilla are traded in compliance with fair trade standards. Oh, please. A 69% um, 
total 69%, excluding liquid ingredients. Ha 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 69%. You would joke about that. Last bite. No, it's your turn. No, no, no. You no. said it's the last bite. You got There's it. There's another bite in there. Oh, so me. you're lying. Okay. Last bite for you. Uh huh. Nom, nom, nom. Right in the taint. No, no, no. Cleaning out his butt crack. Troll in the dungeon. I thought you ought to know. <laughs> Not today, buddy. Oh, he's gonna do it again. Oop! Dang it, you can't dodge it. For my birthday, I'd be cool with just some Ben and Jerry's. Uh huh. If you don't want to get me an ice cream cake. Oh, uh, he's about to die. Just die, just die. There you go. Brah! Ooh, delicious fruit! Nom 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 nom. When they explode into fruit like that, I just. I just pictured them as a pinata that I was beating. <laughs> what is. What do we have in the chat? Uh, she's talking about the sugar cane and whatnot. Okay. Um. Still need to climb higher. Because there's the shrine that I was up there that I was trying to remember where it was, but then by the time I came down, then I realized where it was. And it was too late! It becomes much easier to traverse this area when you have the uh, Zora armor. Mm -hmm. Because then you can just fly up freaking waterfalls. Um. Yes. I'm gonna go with that. <gasps> I have to be at um, clinic tomorrow at 7. <gasps> Fine. I'm kind of upset about that. Because the, res the resident doesn't care about the PA. Yes. So she, she just comes in at when the attending starts. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna get an earful if I don't come in when the PA starts. So I might as well. Watch him, he's gonna try to hit me. Miss me, bitch. I'ma cook you. I'ma cook you. Watch out! That is a violent death. Seared steak. Goat steak. You ever had goat? <laughs> no. I don't eat cute animals. Not even in Trinidad. You you were never you never ate goat? Nope. Your dad eats goat. He's everything. So in Trinidad, you know, just like all of the trees are fruit trees, all the animals can be eaten. Except for dogs and cats. But <laughs> like how you add that line, except for pets. Well, I mean there's a lot of wild dogs and cats there. Well not so much cats. Do they there's eat those get eaten? Maybe by other animals and each other. But like mongoose, they'll eat raccoon, whatever. You know, meat is meat. Says the person who eats rabbit. I mean, I ate it. It doesn't mean it was my favorite thing ever. Besides rabbit, what's the weirdest thing that you've eaten? Deer. That's not weird. It's it's pretty darn gamey. Well, it's not good. It's just not weird. I, other than that, I haven't eaten anything out of the ordinary. I like lamb. Lamb's very good. Well, we have gyros all the time. And yes, I call them gyros. Deal with it. I forget what I was supposed to do to open that shrine, but before that...
this is the the haven for all these ores. Good thing. Check it out, Luna. Yeah, it's a little hidden cave. Good night. Have a good night. Oh, I wish it was the the blood moon that was coming. Be careful in the morning, Luna. Good night. Says. You mean mini skirt is not a good idea? Well, it's not mini skirt. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yep. Why am I? Why is there? Why the hell was there a gust? Oh, that's right. Because the uh, the dragon's nearby. Where there be gusting, there be dragons. There he is. Ah, give me more lift. Come on, get get the fuck over the wall. <sighs> yeah, I missed. Oh yeah, I got you. Oopsies. Where you going, buddy? All right. I forget what I'm supposed to do here. I feel like I'm supposed to get shocked by lightning or something, or put something to shock it. Do you remember, Patricia? Freaking can't remember. Douchebag try to take my weapon. I really don't remember, and I don't know where there would be a a singing person to tell me what to do. That's kind of annoying. Uh, la 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 la. Not down here, is it? No, it's gone. All right, so it says it's this way. Up oh, there, it is. Yeah. Stupid me. Not now, lightning.
Come on. Really? Come on. That was annoying. But that's done and over with. Um, I still think you gotta open it somehow with some lightning. I. Yeah, see. That's how I know there's lightning from the sky. Hmm, I wonder what that means. I know you don't know it, but uh, in Final Fantasy, there's a, a summon called Rama, Ramu, Ramu, R A M U H. I forget from what mythology, but he's a old man on a mountain and he summons lightning. This is pretty much exactly that. Come on, heavens. Smite the mountain. And give me back my sword. Or not. Not's cool too, I guess. Yep, there it is. I did it! Nine thirty. Okay. Still got about a half an hour. You're not getting sleepy over there, are you? Rubber tights. I bet you'd like to see Link in some rubber tights. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Nope. This is time and cooking at 930. But I'm assuming you're just going to keep listening regardless. <laughs> No, I'm good. When I think of rubber pants, all I can think of is uh, fishing. Um, back when we, when I was living in Jersey, when we were, when we were in elementary school, I think probably like fourth or fifth grade. Um, we went down to. Sandy Hook, which is not, it's the New Jersey side of New York City, kind of. Like, you can see New York City from there. And, I wonder if my scale is still there. And, we went fishing, like, as a class. And, one thing that we were fishing for in particular was... Uh, horseshoe crabs. I don't know if you know what those are. But they are extremely valuable because their blood is I think they say it's the, one of the closest things to human blood. So they use that blood for like lab testing and whatnot. And it's worth like thousands of dollars. Like, it's that precious. So, sadly, you know, people. That would be weird, but a fun school trip. It was. Um, I don't know where I'm going right now. I guess I'm going over there. And uh, people would start, like, harvesting the horseshoe crabs you don't actually kill them you just kind of like 
take most of their blood, which kind of seems worst. You just, like, hook them up into this contraption and it just bleeds them. And, uh, I think horseshoe crabs are pretty damn fascinating because that shell on top of them is pretty much hard as, like, iron. Iron. Um, let's see. There it is. For real, the blood part or the iron shell part? Because the blood part, it is true. Yeah, it does sound terrible. And there are, there's parts of the beach now that is like protected so that like, at least some of them doesn't get bled. But I mean, and nowadays too, you can make artificial blood. Huh. Okay, fine. I'll do it properly. Shell's kind of cool though. Yeah, and because you know, if you look at them, they basically look like they're just moving rocks. Soldier's broadsword. I'll get rid of this stick, I guess. My precious stick. charging okay. I'll take you I don't remember if this is what I was supposed to do for it that ah, wrong button Put you to the side over there. Let's freeze you here. Okay. And then lift you up. There. This one always sucks to get, and I think it's, I don't think it's metal. Wrong freaking button, damn it. Come on, come on, come on, break. Shut up, beep. I'm trying to get this done. Let's see. 
Stand by the edge. Do this by the edge. Come on. Okay, fine. Oh, I can't do Revali's Gale in here. I forgot about that. They're smart. I want it, damn it. This one was always a pain in the ass to get. And I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Maybe. Because I can't do this. I'll try it this way one more time and then I'll just be like, screw it. Huh. That worked out perfectly. Sorry I'm wasting time on this, I'm just trying to get this real quick. Alright, I'm done trying. I don't remember how I did it. Come on. Adios? I know it was something stupid too. You don't remember this one? Yeah. I remember this one because every freaking time I have trouble getting that chest and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I guess I can... I can power hit the... the lever while I am... while it's in stasis and that might hit me up. But, you know what? It's over and done with. I'm out of it. I'm out of here. I tried my best. And I failed. I'm sorry. To all my viewers. I'm gonna pack it up. Oh, look. 50% done. We have 60 out of 120 shrines. Not bad. Not bad. And that's... From Sunday to Sunday. So that's... 16, about 18 hours. It's not too bad. And one of the Divine Beasts. So if you go inside this uh, horse stable, they complain that they keep getting struck by lightning. The, the stable itself gets struck by lightning. So if you go up to the top, you see that there's a an axe there. Come on, let me throw. Meh. I mean, I can revolve scale, but I just want to get up there like this. Ah, perfect. Okay. Yeah, so this... This was the source of their woes. I don't have one. What special brand of loony does it take to go traveling without a map? Oh. Uh, no horse. Was it you? No. Seems as fate has brought us together. What have you got? What are you buying? Uh oh, I didn't mean to. I don't want your nonsense. 
Sometimes he has the rare stuff that you might want to pick up, but more often than not, no, he doesn't. I forget who I was supposed to talk to about the, the axe. But, you know what? It doesn't matter. You. Oh, yeah, the lightning strikes and scares the horses. That's what it was. What? You found out what was drawing the lightning? It was an axe? How strange. Who put that axe there? Yeah, and it gives you the rubber helmet. Simple quest for a good prize. Get all three and then you'll be shockproof. Let's get back on top of the horse stable so I can get up this plateau on the side behind it. I feel like there was a shrine up there. I don't remember exactly. I can revile these gale from here. Anything? Something? Korok seed, at least. Whenever I see mud like this bubbling, all I could think of is Charlie in a chocolate factory and the... The... Damn it, thought I could make it. And the, uh... The chocolate river that he had. Damn it. Um, I think I can make ice. Yeah. Really? Really? Freaking really? Mighty bananas. These bananas are super good to increase your strength in your food. Where am I trying to go? I swear there's another shrine around. I was trying to go over there and I got sidetracked by that Korok seed. Surrounded by chocolate. Another offering shrine for hockey durians. At least there's Korok seeds up the wazoo over here. Just what I wanted. Whippee. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So, you know what? I'm just gonna say screw it for now. And I'm going to go look for the, the next tower. Soon I'll have enough money to, uh... I can either get the stealth suit. Or I can, uh... I do have enough to get the next one, maybe two fairies, so I can start upgrading my armor. Let's see, I gotta fly in that direction. 
And I think in that direction too is the horse ferry. I could be mistaken. It's been a while since I... The horse... So there's the fairies that upgrade your armor. And then there's another fairy that revives your dead horses should you want to revive them. And me, I barely use horses to begin with, so... I wouldn't really waste my time reviving them as bad as that sounds. Come on, buddy, you can make it. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Yes! So, when you are in the red in your stamina bar, if you jump at that moment, you get a an extra high jump. There's a lot of, like, small tips and tricks in the game that they don't hold your hand and tell you anything. You gotta figure it all out yourself. The only tips and tricks that they do give you is just the combat stuff, but that's if you even go in that shrine to begin with. Other than that, they don't tell you anything except for how to use the runes as well, obviously. So the people that make like the flying carts and stuff I find it fascinating and I have tried that too it's kind of hard to get it to work properly but it is uh, quite the trick once you get it to work basically you can't use magnesis on something that you're standing on however if it's something under the thing that you're standing on as in like if you're standing on a cart that's in a second cart you can lift the the bottom cart people are smart and i think that's another reason why this game was such a big hit when it came out too is that yeah there's a ton you can do in it but they didn't hold your hands, they let people figure it out for themselves. What's over here? Okay, so this is the horse fairy indeed. But I'm not gonna waste my rupees on her. So, I'll star you. Where is the shrine that keeps blipping away? Oh, is it that one right there? Okay. Well, that was difficult. So I think this is one of the shrines. Okay, well, let me kill this thing first. There's a guardian nearby. Okay. Well, see, this is one of the shrines that has one of the... Uh... There he is. The hidden walls that I've been talking about. There aren't many of them, but they do exist. And it's just the same exact material as everything else. 
So if you aren't using Magnesis, you would never know. I think it's just rupees. Yeah. 600, or, sorry. 300 rupees. 300 rubles. Soldier bow. That one's garbage, but I'm just gonna open the chest and get it out. There's a treasure chest up there. I thought I could knock it down, perhaps, but it doesn't seem so. Ugh. That was scary. Oh, jeez, there's another one. Just die. Take the new spear. I like spears because of the reach, but they're generally much weaker. But they are fast, and that's also good when you're just trying to poke through some weaker enemies. down here yeah, if I can get this door there we go sixty one we're officially past the halfway mark I feel like I stick to this. Oh, rarely do I use spears or the elemental swords. I feel like I stick to the same ones. Um, the elemental ones, I feel. Okay, so you see that I keep a bunch of flame swords because I do use them to melt stuff. Whereas the ice swords, I only keep one and I never use it because. Um, for the desert section, you have to deal with all the heat. So, I mean, it's a good way to just, um, deal with that stuff without having to use your food. I can get rid of this. And I can get rid of this. Still don't know what that is. Um... Yeah, so that's what I use the elemental swords for. The lightning one, I use sometimes. They're good for disarming enemies, because once you hit them with it, you can just knock out their whatever they're holding. But, um, more often than not, I like using one-handed swords and spears one-handed swords so that I can continue to use my shield freely because if you if you've been watching you'll see that when I'm using the spear sometimes I'll be trying to fight the enemies and then I'll be trying to guard so that I can do the flurry rush 
but then all of a sudden, um, I get hit because I didn't switch back to my shield in time. I needed a leaf, but they gave me no leaf. Yeah, they really gave me no leap this time. Well, I guess I won't be doing this one. Um, let's see. There's this tower. There should be the fairy over there. Yeah, I'm gonna get the two fairies now. Or actually, it's, it's time to call it a night in a second. So I'll just get this one fairy and call it. Because this one is pretty damn close. Not much of a walk. It is... Right there. And like I was saying, with every fairy that you get, um, they all get the ability to upgrade your weapons to the next level. At first I thought, okay, you get the, the Korok fairy, uh, the Korok forest fairy, and she can only do level one, and that the next one can do level two, and then the third would do only level three. However, now that I'll be unlocking this one, then the Korok Forest Fairy can do one and two. And then when I get third, the Korok Forest Fairy can do all three. Come on. Alright. Got my fairies. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. Sure. I need rupees, rupees, rupees. Give me some rupees so I can come back to life. Rupees. 500 rupees. I don't know why they had to make it so sensual. You're the one that released me. I was expecting someone bigger, I guess. Well, rude. Thanks to you, my power has been restored. And I think you'll agree a good deed deserves a good reward. I can enhance your clothing, but I require the necessary materials to do so. Oh. I, can re I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. So my priority is the barbarian. I know, right? Jesus. Slap me right where it hurts. I was in a recovery chamber for a hundred years, okay, man? You know, they say you don't use it and you lose it. You know, what was I supposed to do? I, I can't do anything about it. My bad again. Lionel Horn, Lionel Hoof. So level one upgrade, she blows a kiss. The second one, she gives you a kiss. The third one, she freaking... I think it's the third one, she dunks you in the water. Um, pants, 
Hmm. I'll do pants first. That's it. Oh, I do have all three rubber pieces already. Okay. Alright. Um, so that's the second great fairy. I'll get the third one tomorrow. And if Spaceman is here, I'll do the next uh, Divine Beast. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Just kidding. Um, follow so that you can s catch us live. We'll be here same time tomorrow. Or at least I'll be here at, at least 8 o'clock. Um, we'll see if Luna will be busy or not. But thanks for watching. Have a good night.